Hey everybody, this is Francesco Abruzzino with the Rogue Rant, and I wanted to talk today about the ISIS, ISIS, ISIL, DASH strategy that we have out there. You see, the official Obama administration story is that the Islamic State has always been to downplay them. The threat of a terrorist group um, coming up and posing any threat to the U.S. or our allies is just preposterous. But when ISIS best appeared on the scene, Barack Obama, you may all recall, he called them the JV team. After so the so-called JV team went out and they summarily uh, rolled back virtually all American military gains in Iraq, Obama, again, he came up and warned against overestimating their impact. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Okay? The facts don't fit the political narrative. We had Paris. We had a number of small attacks in Europe and in the Middle East. And even jihad over on our own soil with San Bernardino and the other incidences. Which the federal government will categorize as unrelated uh, attacks by lone wolves. Obama continues to maintain that he has contained the Islamic State. Do you believe this narrative? ISIL continues to grow in strength, folks. With worldwide numbers exceeding those of Al-Qaeda. We just started bombing Libya last night and killed 30 of them. You got Clapper with the FBI. He'll come out and he'll tell you that too. You have Brennan with the CIA. And both, both have come out publicly stating that the Islamic State has manufactured and used chemical weapons in the battlefield. I just started reporting that to you guys. How long before these weapons of mass destruction are finding their way over to American shores? Or how about the missing nuclear radio radioactive material that's missing in Iraq? Been missing for a while. Not long. They'll come here not long in not too short of a time if Obama administration does not start facing the hard truth about the failure of the current ISIS strategy. The intelligence analysts were facing pressure by providing more optimistic reports to the United States based upon the activities of the Islamic State, fudging the reports. Now a whole new set of allegations have been made by analysts at CENTCOM. They claim, senior officials there, claim that the intelligence group may have been aware of potential problems with the integrity of the information they were getting on ISIL. When is it going to end, folks? You know, and this guy Clapper, he may be culpable in these um, shenanigans. He's the head of our intelligence community. On the other hand, though, it may also be the case that Obama himself and key members of his team, through force or will or, or not direct action, have made it clear that they want to portray a specific picture to the American people about our fight against ISIS and Islamic, radical Islamic terrorism. This commander in chief, he's never made the war against radical Muslims a priority, not at all. And in fact, he has often gone out of his way to downplay and disavow this JV team. He, it's almost embarrassing how extreme in the levels that he's gone to do this. His worldview is clearly shared with senior members of his team. And the worldview has almost certainly trickled down the intelligence community, as we're seeing with the fudged reports. The direct result of this is that America is now less safe than it was prior to Obama taking office. The dangerous irony is that the Obama administration espouses precisely the opposite. It so is contained. What say you? Is it so contained? This has been Francesco Abruzzino with... Another rogue rant.